morning everyone welcome to english class today we are going to do a new topic of grammar the chapter's name is adverbs so you will see a video uh, on adverbs please try to understand it and if you have any doubt or anything then you can ask me later but just go uh, see the video carefully okay that uh, video is on adverbs okay so we'll begin with the video adverbs you have failed your maths exams miserably but i had worked very hard for the exam can you understand whatever is taught in class easily in class the teacher teaches excellently i understand everything well but when i write the exam i forget everything totally the only solution to this constantly recurring problem is practicing rigorously every day yes ma'am i will certainly do so in the dialogues the principal and the girl have used words that tell us something about the verb adjective or adverb in the sentence the words miserably very hard easily excellently well totally constantly rigorously certainly are examples of adverbs definition an adverb is a word that modifies a verb adverb or an adjective in a sentence let us look at few sentences girish is completely independent kaya laughs loudly anshul runs extremely fast in the first sentence completely is an adverb as it modifies the adjective independent in the next sentence loudly is an adverb as it modifies the verb laughs in the third sentence extremely is an adverb as it modifies the adverb fast here is a list of some adverbs smartly brilliantly very quite frequently carefully We have a great oven garden. My husband usually wakes up at seven a.m. every day. Sometimes he goes for a run, but usually he waters the garden. He never asks us to help him that early because we usually are getting ready for school. Our kids are certain late for school and are often there pretty early. Sometimes. It rains in the afternoon. In the summer, it usually storms between 2 p.m. and 4 p.m. in the afternoon. It rarely rains in the winter time, so my husband or our children will have to water the garden there. In the fall, we usually have lots of big pumpkins that we always carve to get the seeds for roasting. In the spring. We sometimes have cucumbers that we pickle in the jar. In early summer, we often have beautiful red strawberries that we pick and turn into jam. It is sometimes a lot of hard work, but we don't have to make as many trips to the grocery store. i hope you have understood the video just once again go through the video and the next chapter we will read in the uh, next video thank you